Unlike its trouble-free predecessor, the second-generation Matryoshka with corrosion resistance had annoying problems. After a couple of winters, some owners found rust on the lower edges of the rear doors, and hatchbacks also differed in the presence of signs of oxidation at the junction of the rear door with the seal. Upsets and corrosion leashes wipers, and if you look under the bottom, you can find an uneven layer of anti-corrosion composition. I must say that official dealers, as a rule, responded adequately to the problems described above, repainting the damaged body elements at their own expense, with only one caveat, the owner had to annually inspect the body for damage to the paintwork with the corresponding mark in the service book. However, the officials ignored the fogging of headlights and taillights, they say, this is a design feature that does not affect traffic safety. By the way, replacing headlights may often not bring the desired effect, new eyes with a high degree of probability may also begin to fog up. The owners also complain about the excessively delicate windshield, in two or three years from the work of the wipers, it is so overwritten that it begins to distort reality. The loyalty of the dealer in matters of replacement in this case is very selective, for example, if you regularly change the wiper blades at a branded service station and have documents confirming this fact, you can be met. Among other things, until February 2010, unofficially sold 3 ruble cars in Russia, the fuel filter was located in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B right rear wheel and quickly failed due to corrosion, this trouble pretended to be the smell of gasoline and increased fuel consumption. A recall campaign was carried out that solved this problem, dealers installed the fuel pump with the built-in filter for free. It is also worth noting that the interior of the car is a haven for a significant number of crickets, the lime of which is given only to the most patient owners who are ready to spend their time and money on this. Transmission The base 5-speed manual transmission is distinguished by exemplary selectivity of its work and is also very reliable, the clutch kit nurses over 100,000 kilometers. But the old 4-speed automatic, installed on 1.6-liter modifications, is not so accommodating. Some owners have encountered an unpleasant clicking sound made by the box when the brake pedal is pressed in the parking mode. The reason, most likely, lies in the latch that blocks the inclusion of the drive mode without pressing the brake pedal. This problem can be solved independently by disassembling the trim on the front passenger side and gluing to the plastic latch, for example, a thin piece of foam rubber. Sometimes the work of the latch is also broken when you press the brake pedal, then it is not possible to turn on the drive mode on the first try. In this case, either its replacement or lubrication will be required. Many owners are faced with much more serious problems, these are jerks and jerks when shifting gears. Moreover, in some cars they are noticeable when moving from first to second and from second to third gear, while in others, only from third to fourth. In the latter case, most likely, it will be necessary to replace the rear cover of the gearbox, it turns out that the fourth gear is hard to work with tension. Therefore, for example, dealers advise using manual mode and forcibly engaging third gear when driving uphill. In addition, the masters recommend changing gear oil every 50,000 kilometers, and only with the original one, there are no analogs approved by the factory. More advantageous in terms of reliability looks like a 5-speed automatic, which is paired with a 150-horsepower engine, although it is not completely devoid of the above problems. Engines a 105 horsepower 4 with a volume of 1.6 liters is found on the vast majority of Treshki of the second generation. In the city, this power unit copes with its duties quite well, but long range is clearly not his forte, especially if the air conditioner is turned on, and in addition to the driver, there is a full set of passengers in the car. In this scenario, overtaking turns into a real test for the nerves. Among other things, this motor suffers from fogging, oil oozes from under the timing cover bolts, as well as at the interface with the automatic transmission. Fortunately, the problem is solved with the heat-resistant sealant. In addition, engine mounts may creak. But by and large, this time-tested engine has no other problems. Looks good in terms of reliability and 2-liter engine. True, there are very few such cars on the market, especially with the manual gearbox. It is worth noting that in the American market Mazda 3 was also sold with a 2.5-liter 167-horsepower engine, which is familiar to servicemen from other models of the Japanese brand. In Europe, the most popular were Treshki with diesel engines, 1.6-liter, 109-horsepower, and 2.2-liter, 150 or 185-horsepower. However, 
there are practically no such machines on the secondary market. The 3 ruble suspension creates problems already for the first owners, often, even with a run of 25 to 30,000 kilometers, the rear end, less often, front stabilizer struts may become unusable. Dealers blame bad roads for this. And indeed, if a car is operated, say, exclusively in a metropolis, the racks last at least twice as long. At 30 to 40,000, front wheel bearings may be asked to be replaced, and sometimes silent blocks of the front levers. Moreover, all these troubles declare themselves with the characteristic knock or creak. But there are practically no complaints about the most expensive part, the steering rack, which will surely please the newly minted owners.